Everyone talking about Eau de Gaga by Lady Gaga. The notes in this are lime, white violet, leather, and woods. So I had mixed feelings about this because on one hand I'm definitely impressed like it's a lot more unique than I expected for a celeb fragrance in terms of like really smelling like a wearable fragrance and not just some like sugary or like cliche thing but on the other it is Lady Gaga so it would have been cool to have it be like some really avant-garde you know weird type thing but yeah uh so first of all very unisex which is not very common for celebrity fragrances maybe they call it that sometimes but they tend to be either kind of explicitly feminine or masculine uh this smells way more refined than the typical celebrity fragrance both in terms of the bottle itself which i'll show at the end to how it actually smells it has an almost niche like scent profile with that strong violet and leather combination but not the quality of niche which makes sense because it doesn't cost 300 dollars or whatever i wouldn't say in the grand scheme of things it's necessarily the most unique but again for the celeb category not bad at all for the price range for me, I would rate it, say, like a 3.5 out of 5. It's not something I would wear, and the violet is a little bit too, like, airy floral for me with the way that it's used here, but I do really like the leather and woods, and overall, not bad at all. I would say unisex leaning slightly masculine, moderate longevity and projection. I'm not sure at this point where you can pick this up, so if you're interested in checking it out, check, like, Google or eBay or whatever for the latest. But, uh, yeah, and this is what the bottle looks like. So yeah, I'm not saying it's like the most refined fancy thing ever, but again, for celebrity fragrance, it's a bit more understated and elegant than like the typical sort of gaudy or yeah, whatever version that they would usually have.